item number, the next open one, object class, Frick, Bending Thaumio, Threat class, this is sort of my fault, sorry, description, I don't even know, it's totally gone, item number one, I don't have the energy so I'll just copy paste what was in the report, Major Emmeline Evans has been selected by the Foundation Space Program to undertake Take a fact-finding mission to determine the nature of an extraterrestrial threat. SCP-179, the Foundation's de facto early warning system, has been pointing in one specific direction since 1988. 34 years of sustained inquiry has been unable to determine the nature of this threat. Whether it occupies a fixed point in space, is approaching at interstellar speeds, etc., Major Evans will maneuver her craft along the appropriate axis until such time as the threat is properly identified. So basically, that's what I was up to before this. I have no idea why this happened. Honest, if it's a mean thing or a hallucination, great. If not, not great. Awful. Terrible. Let's focus on the positives. There have to be positives. I guess this has obvious paramilitary benefits, if there's still a paramilitary. Teach people to do this if they get captured by hostile aliens or something? Sacrifice play. Actually, Frick, how do you delete the thunder? The system won't let me do it. Look, if there's any hostile aliens reading this, I didn't mean it. Please, come get me. My coordinates are... Wait, how do I find those? This is so unintuitive. Delete, delete. Stop voice recognition for freak's sake. Okay, I will touch them later. End footnote, end footnote, end. I'm not evil. The first time was a mistake, and I was just spitballing with this. And then number four. It definitely shouldn't have worked like that. Surely it wasn't the first time someone... And then number five. Adam 5. Okay, guess I should provide some context here. Don't know who's going to see it, but... Event Log 7331 Major Evans undergoing interstellar travel on a one-person mission to investigate an unidentified spatial anomaly awakens early from Cairo sleep. She pings Site 821 in Hawaii, her flight control center. Command, you there? Well around. So the selective chiral sleep isn't really doing it for me. Did you test it properly? We certainly tried. Is it not putting you under? Mostly, but I'm still conscious. I can still hear, see, or that. It's not uncomfortable. I've been playing guessing games to pass the time. Are you in danger? Will you survive the trip? Yeah, for sure. Can you state the reason for holding Kaiwa's sleep and initiating contact? Oh, uh, like I said, I've been playing games to pass the time. I've been trying to name everything I can see out the portal. It's been going alright. I never did too badly at astronomy. I guess that's obvious since... Since he was selected for a top secret high priority spacefaring mission, yes. Right, so anyway, I'm doing great. Now you got all of them. Just a few bugging me. You want us to name the stars? Just one or two. Not even that. Just give me a hint. Please hold. We're clear to play a guessing game with you, Major Evans. Five minutes. Your misunderstanding. I just... Okay, whatever. What's that star? The one directly in front of me. Oh, that's Beetlejuice. It's in your Orion constellation, Major. How do you not lose us? No, I knew, I knew, I just did. Wait, like the movie? Sort of, Beetlejuice is the star. It's spelled differently. Really? Really, it's one of the largest stars we found. Also known as Alpha Orionis. Again, how do you not know this? You're kidding me. Beetlejuice, they named a star after a film. No, the star's name was the inspiration for the film. The film was spelled 
B E E T L E J U I C E. The star spelled B E T E L G E U S E. I feel like you're pulling my leg. That's a really weird way to spell it. Beyond. What did it take to convince you? It's called Beetlejuice. But Beetlejuice doesn't Beetlejuice. The signal from command is replaced by noise. Right. Well, sorry. Anyway. About the cow sleep bug, can you get one of the lab guys on the call? Come on, guys. Major Evans continues to send calls out to command for another hour. At that point, she checks the Earth on her monitor. She doesn't believe it at first because why would you? She sends out a distress call and writes this draft. What the frick?